Nebula, say hi. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I've been sick, so this is actually the first time I'm using my voice in the past like few days. So we'll see how it goes. Does this thing, does this thing, is this thing still on? I'm definitely, definitely not on. <laughs> so in keeping with the theme of my shirt, I thought I'd reunite it with its birth mom, uh, which is the typo negative dead again box set. <laughs> Here she is. Say hi to your mom. Aww. It's kind of uh, beaten up because I've had to move it around a few times and I have cats. So unfortunately, um, this is why we can't have nice things. It comes with this booklet with lyrics, shit like this. A little DVD here of live performances, interviews, music videos. Not only one, not only two, oh wait, I did the thing wrong, but three discs. <laughs> the last one is like a bonus uh, live performance. Um, definitely one of the most underappreciated typo negative albums in my opinion. And uh, hey, wow, something that's not black metal. Wow, who are you, Sarah? It's like I don't even know you anymore. Well, you're gonna be finding out some other new things about me because I'm gonna teach you some dumbass shit that I used to think as a kid because you guys already think I'm a dumbass. So why not uh, perpetuate that uh, label that you gave me? So I used to think that the only attractive people in the world were people with blonde hair, like dumb blonde bimbo looking girls with big tits and really nerdy looking guys with dark hair and glasses, you know, Harry Potter types. I thought like no one would love me unless I was blonde. And uh, that theory has proved to be true. My mom used to tell me that she was going for e electrolysis, which is when they um, remove your pubic hair. Sorry, mom. Sorry, mom, for talking about this. <laughs> Exposing my mom. <laughs> I remember there was this song in music class that was like, Oh, things I could be when I grow up. Um, and then they listed electrician. And then I whispered to my friend beside me, Hey, you know what electrician means? You know how you get hairy on your, uh, on your vagina? There's someone who you can hire to remove your pubic hair. I thought electrolysis um, was synonymous with electrician. <laughs> so sorry to all the kids who I spread false information to. <laughs> I used to think that eavesdropping meant a bird pooping at night. I used to think that dicks like secreted just disgusting fluid everywhere that uh, that they went. I wouldn't sit in chairs that men had previously sat in. Well, not just men, but like little boys. Like when I was a kid, I would have my specific chairs that I'd sit in uh, so as to avoid all the dick secretion. I used to think that God just looked like a map, but a very specific map I had seen where all the provinces, states were like different colors. I didn't understand why parents could be happy for weddings. How can you be happy that your child is fucking someone? How could they be happy for if, if their ch child, if their offspring gave birth? And the people that I used to find attractive uh, were people or things that resembled um, just like round white objects. Like I was like super attracted to snowmen for some reason. I feel like the Michelin man was one of them. I feel like he was pretty hot. Um, Jack the Pumpkin King. When Jack Frost would come and visit me, like, there was that movie called Jack Frost uh, and it was of the snowman who I was like really sexually attracted to as you know, a four year old. I don't know if it, okay, I don't know. I get, it probably wasn't sexual, but I definitely wanted to like marry it. When I would have frost on my window in the morning, I would be like really turned on because I knew the snowman came to visit me in my sleep. So much for being a child genius, so they told me. But maybe I shouldn't have been talking that early. I think it made me uh, a little bit fucked up. 
Let me know what you thought as a kid. And uh, this is actually the first episode I've done stoned. So let me know, yay or nay, should I keep doing them stoned? <laughs> See you all next week. Bye.